All right, it's Duke here with Duke's RV, and today we're out on the freeway. We're going to take a look at this little guy, Micromax. It is really cool. Uh, this one will fit in a standard size garage. Uh, it is not, it doesn't have an AC up on the roof, but it does have an AC. It's got a heater and an AC. It's got a kitchen, outdoor shower, but uh, you see a solar panel right up there on the roof. So it does have solar and it has a place right here. It's a quick connect for a uh, gas grill if you want to do some outdoor grilling. It's got stabilizer jacks on all four corners. There's even a little uh, receiver right here where you could put a uh, rack to hold some bikes or something like that. And this one comes standard with a rear camera. That is a standard feature. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of standard features, a lot of quality in this one. It's got these European dual pane windows and they provide excellent uh, ventilation when you open them up and you can they have screens blackout shades so you've got the stereo speakers you've got this uh, mounting bracket here where you could just slide in a table from the inside to stick one of the tables and it'll attach right there to the wall so uh, let's take a look at the inside but before we do that you got a diamond plate storage area in the front and look at this hand crank right here you don't need a power tongue jack this is so easy to turn it's no big deal because this is light, has light tongue weight. It's a lightweight trailer. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. As you walk in, you notice the solid wood. It's got a, uh, a microwave oven right there. Just adjusted the camera so it'll work better in here. There is the stereo, your fuse box. There's a little cubby storage area right there. And here is some additional stuff up here. That is your solar charge controller. And uh, your, that is your thermostat. So on this side over here, there is a table that it's adjustable. You can, you can move it around and you can slide it in. Let me see if I can do that. Well, it, it does do that. I'm doing this with one hand. So this makes it into a bed and I'll show you in just a second how that works. Check out that solid wood. It's got a stainless steel Dometic cooktop right here. Yeah, this is not a particle board. This is solid wood. You see the dovetail in there, nice hardware. It's uh, got a residential style fixture right there. And that is a Max Air fan. So these windows, they're really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how they work right here. So you just, you can uh, get a, excellent ventilation so i'm doing this with one hand normally you do this with two hands sorry about that okay so say open from the bottom they're dual pane to provide excellent uh insulation but i could already feel the air just coming through with the door open so you could open up that one that one and this one up here so if you're out on the in the woods or at the lake or in the mountains it can really be nice if the weather's nice so if there's bugs you just put down the screen no big deal you still get nice ventilation uh if the windows you probably aren't going to close the blackout shade with the windows up you could like partially close it but i probably wouldn't do it like that so here is the rear dinette area see the ac down there sorry about the camera movement so that table moves all over the place too. You can adjust it however you want to. And uh, so you know what I'm talking about. So it can spin around, it can pivot around. So it just makes it real easy to get in here. You wanna get in here, sit down, pull the table over here. Time for breakfast. Get me a beer. All right, right out of the fridge. So you notice right there, that area drops down. So when you walk in here, I believe you could be as tall as 5'9 and not touch your head. Otherwise, you got to bend over a little bit. Uh, so that area, it drops down a little bit. So you can stand up in the coach. There's a charging center there. TV, more stereo speakers. So I'm going to show you what this is like with the beds, the seating made into beds. So look, there's some charging stations down here. There's a 110 charging center, some cup holders also. And there's a switch for something right there. And you've got a drawer down here. This is nice quality wood. And there is a uh, 
cubby storage air there here's underneath the sink lots of storage there they got the plumbing up out of the way it just doesn't come straight down that's very practical instead of wasting that space and then there is some storage down here also underneath this seat and on this side also all right so let's go ahead and take a look at it with the uh, tables made into beds there's even a window on the door it has that same type of blind and window set up you can open it up it's got a screen so here it is this bed right here I'm gonna get in here so you can see it from this angle this goes the full width of the coach so an adult can sleep in there in that spot right there a large child adult and then back here you've got a full width bed here two adults can sleep there comfortably even hey and your dog your dog is welcome got more cubby storage up there here's my contact information I'm Duke but this is the extreme outdoors little guy micro max and I'm here in the Houston Texas area I'll be delighted to let you have a look at this one in person it is a nice thing so even with that bed down let's say you had the bed down you want to leave it like that you got a lot of storage right there and then you can make this into a dinette area so it really just depends on how how you're using it but as long as you got a place to come in and sit down you can come in and sit in here you got a place to hang out and get a, a nice view you can have that made into a bed if you don't feel like make it into a table but it's it's easy to do it's not hard to switch these back and forth but i appreciate you watching my video if you watched all the way to the end please feel free to click the thumbs up button i really will appreciate it help me become a youtube superstar a true internet sensation there's my contact information i'll be delighted to hear from you and help you if you're interested in purchasing one of these so check out this down here it's like a uh, sort of a tub area it drops down lower so it is closer to the ground but that's how they have it where you have uh, uh, the height where you could still fit it in a standard size garage you don't have to worry about storage paying for storage that's a big benefit so the one thing this does not have so I'll go ahead and mention that I forgot to go over it it's got heater it's got an air conditioner, it's got a water heater, it's got a kitchen, a cooktop, it's got an indoor, outdoor hot and cold shower. It does not have a toilet. So there are a lot of alternatives for that. And, and the, if you camped a lot before, you know that with a five gallon bucket, plastic bags in a container of cat litter, you can get a lot done with that. Most campgrounds do have all the state parks here in Texas, for example, uh, most all the national parks, they will have uh, uh, toilets and showers at the campground. So depending on what you want to do, but you can get a shower tent and take a shower out in uh, if you're doing dispersed camping, dry camping, you'll still have a place you can take a shower. Maybe take a shower in your bathing suit and uh there's all types of cassette toilets but the uh they have uh, lids that go on a uh, five gallon bucket it's just like sitting on a toilet except it's a bucket but it works gets the job done all right a little too graphic there i don't want to uh get too detailed on the bathroom experience hey it's duke here at duke's rv and i appreciate you tagging along thank you